Age Gap Love. Nandini and Vikram's Unlikely Romance Episode-1. Family Secrets Exposed. Unexpected Reunion Shocks Loved Ones. Vikram's day at the hospital had been long and exhausting. As a 34-year-old doctor, his days were filled with the demands of caring for patients, leaving little time for anything else. He enjoyed his work, but lately, he'd started to feel a void in his life, a longing for something more, something beyond the walls of the hospital. One evening, as he wrapped up his shift, Vikram decided to stop by a nearby cafe for a quick coffee before heading home. The cafe was a quiet place, a refuge from the hustle and bustle of the city. He found a corner table and ordered his usual espresso, intending to spend a few minutes unwinding. As Vikram sipped his coffee, he noticed a woman enter the cafe. She had an air of confidence about her, dressed elegantly in a crisp business suit, with an aura of sophistication that commanded attention. She seemed familiar, yet Vikram couldn't quite place where he had seen her before. She walked up to the counter, ordered her drink, and, to Vikram's surprise, took a seat at the table next to his. The woman was Nandini, a 40-year-old successful businesswoman who had made a name for herself in the corporate world. Her day had been equally taxing, filled with back-to-back -back meetings and the constant pressure of managing her company. The cafe was her escape, a place where she could briefly disconnect from her demanding schedule. As Nandini settled into her seat, she noticed Vikram glancing at her. Their eyes met, and for a moment, there was a spark of recognition. Nandini realized that she had seen Vikram before. He was the doctor who had treated her father a few months back when he had fallen ill. Doctor. Vikram, isn't it? Nandini asked, breaking the silence between them. Vikram smiled, slightly embarrassed to be recognized outside of the hospital. Yes, that's right. And you're Nandini, if I'm not mistaken. I remember you from the hospital. Nandini nodded, a smile playing on her lips. Small world, isn't it? What brings you here? Just needed a break after a long day, Vikram replied. And you? Same here, Nandini said, sighing as she took a sip of her coffee. Sometimes, it feels like the only peace I get is in this place. The conversation flowed naturally between them, starting with small talk about work and gradually delving into deeper topics. Vikram found himself drawn to Nandini's wisdom and poise, while Nandini was intrigued by Vikram's gentle demeanor and the dedication he showed towards his profession. Despite the difference in their ages, there was an undeniable connection forming between them. As the evening wore on, neither of them noticed how much time had passed. They talked until the cafe was about to close, both reluctant to end the conversation. When they finally decided to leave, they exchanged phone numbers, agreeing to meet again sometime. As Vikram walked home that night, he couldn't shake the feeling that he had just met someone special. Nandini, too, felt a warmth in her heart that she hadn't experienced in a long time. Neither of them knew where this newfound connection would lead but they both sensed that this was the beginning of something significant a story that was just starting to unfold. A few days had passed since Vikram and Nandini's first encounter at the cafe, but the memory of their conversation lingered in both their minds. They had exchanged messages a few times, sharing brief updates about their day or a humorous anecdote, but neither had broached the subject of meeting again. There was a mutual hesitation an unspoken fear that the connection they felt might have been a fleeting moment rather than something real. One evening, as Vikram was finishing his rounds at the hospital, his phone buzzed. It was a message from Nandini. Nandini, hey, Dr. Vikram, how's your day going? Vikram smiled as he read the message, feeling a warmth that was becoming familiar. Vikram, hey Nandini, just finished a long day at the hospital. How about you? Nandini. Same here. Back-to-back -back meetings as usual. I was thinking, do you have time for dinner tonight? There's this new restaurant I've been wanting to try. Vikram paused for a moment, his heart racing slightly. He wasn't sure if this was a casual dinner between acquaintances or if it meant something more, 
but he didn't want to overthink it. Vikram. I'd love to. What time works for you? They settled on a time and place, and a few hours later, Vikram found himself standing outside a cozy, upscale restaurant. He spotted Nandini waiting near the entrance, her face lighting up when she saw him. Vikram. Glad you could make it. Nandini greeted him warmly. Wouldn't miss it. Vikram replied with a grin. They were seated at a quiet table near the window, the soft glow of the candles adding a touch of romance to the evening. As they looked over the menu, their conversation began to flow naturally, just as it had during their first meeting. They talked about their work, their families, and their passions. Vikram shared stories from his time in medical school, and Nandini recounted her journey of building her business from the ground up. As the evening progressed, the conversation turned more personal. Nandini, feeling comfortable with Vikram, began to open up about the challenges she faced as a woman in a male-dominated industry. She spoke about the loneliness that came with her success, the sacrifices she had to make, and the constant pressure to prove herself. Vikram listened intently, admiring her strength and resilience. You've achieved so much, Nandini. It's inspiring. But it sounds like it hasn't been easy. It hasn't, Nandini admitted, her voice softening. Sometimes I wonder if I've missed out on other parts of life, things that people my age usually have, like a family or a partner. Vikram could sense the vulnerability in her words, and he felt a deep connection with her. It's never too late for those things, Nandini. Life doesn't follow a set timeline. Their eyes met, and for a moment, the world outside the restaurant seemed to fade away. The age difference between them felt irrelevant, overshadowed by the bond that was steadily growing. Neither of them said it out loud, but they both knew that this was more than just a simple dinner between two people. It was the start of something new, something that neither of them had expected but both were willing to explore. As they finished their meal, Vikram and Nandini walked out of the restaurant, the night air cool against their skin. They lingered outside for a while, reluctant to part ways. Thank you for tonight, Vikram. I had a really good time, Nandini said, her smile genuine. Me too, Vikram replied. We should do this again. I'd like that, Nandini agreed, her eyes reflecting the soft glow of the streetlights. They stood there for a moment, the unspoken connection between them growing stronger. Finally, with a lingering look and a promise to meet again, they said their goodbyes. As Vikram watched Nandini walk away, he felt a flutter of anticipation. This was only the beginning, and he couldn't wait to see where their journey would lead. The days following their dinner together were a whirlwind of emotions for both Vikram and Nandini. They found themselves thinking about each other more often, looking forward to the next message or phone call. What had started as a casual connection was slowly evolving into something more significant, and it both thrilled and unnerved them. One afternoon, Vikram was on a break at the hospital when his phone rang. It was Nandini. He smiled as he answered, already anticipating the sound of her voice. Hey, Vikram, are you free tonight? Nandini asked, her tone light but with a hint of something deeper. I am. What's on your mind? Vikram replied, curious. I was thinking, how about you come over to my place for dinner? I'd love to cook for you, Nandini suggested. Vikram was pleasantly surprised. That sounds great. I'd love to. They agreed on a time, and later that evening, Vikram found himself driving to Nandini's apartment. As he arrived, he couldn't help but feel a mix of excitement and nervousness. This was different from their previous meetings, it felt more intimate, more personal. Nandini welcomed him at the door, dressed casually but elegantly, her usual business attire replaced by a simple, comfortable outfit. The scent of delicious food wafted through the air, and Vikram could hear soft music playing in the background. Welcome to my humble abode, Nandini said with a smile, ushering him inside. Thanks for having me. Vikram replied, taking in the warmth of her home. It was a reflection of her, sophisticated, yet cozy, 
with touches of her personality evident in the decor. They settled into easy conversation as Nandini finished preparing dinner. Vikram offered to help, but Nandini waved him off playfully. You just sit and relax. It's not often I get to cook for someone other than myself. As they sat down to eat, the mood was light and comfortable, yet beneath the surface, both Vikram and Nandini could feel the shift in their relationship. There was a growing awareness that what they had was more than just friendship, but neither of them wanted to rush into defining it. However, as the evening progressed, a topic surfaced that neither had fully addressed, their age difference. Nandini brought it up, her voice hesitant but determined. Vikram, can I ask you something? She began, her eyes meeting his across the table. Of course, Nandini. Anything, Vikram responded, sensing the seriousness in her tone. Does our age difference bother you? She asked, the question lingering in the air between them. Vikram took a moment to consider his response. Honestly, it doesn't. I've never been one to focus on age as a defining factor in relationships. What matters to me is the connection we have, the way we understand each other. But I can tell it's something that worries you. Nandini sighed, looking down at her plate. It's not that I'm ashamed or anything, but I know how people talk. I've been through enough in life to understand how society judges women who are older than their partners. I don't want that to come between us, but I can't pretend it doesn't cross my mind. Vikram reached across the table, gently taking her hand in his. I understand, Nandini. And I won't lie, I'm aware of the challenges we might face because of it. But I also know that we have something special, something worth fighting for. I'm not going to let other people's opinions dictate how I feel about you, and I hope you won't either. Nandini looked at him, her heart swelling with emotion. She had spent so many years building walls around herself, protecting her heart from the disappointments she had faced. But here was Vikram, willing to stand by her, to face whatever challenges came their way. I don't want to either, she said softly, squeezing his hand. I just needed to know that we're on the same page. Vikram smiled, his eyes filled with warmth. We are, Nandini, and whatever happens, we'll face it together. They continued their meal, the tension between them easing as they shared stories and laughter. The doubts that had lingered were still there, but they were overshadowed by the growing bond between them. As the evening came to a close, Vikram helped Nandini clear the table, their movements synchronized in a way that spoke of their compatibility. When it was time for Vikram to leave, Nandini walked him to the door. There was a moment of hesitation as they stood there, both aware of the unspoken feelings between them. Nandini, Vikram began, his voice soft, I've really enjoyed tonight. I hope we can do this again soon. Nandini smiled, her eyes shining. I'd like that, Vikram. More than you know. Without thinking, Vikram leaned in and kissed her cheek, a gesture that was both gentle and full of promise. Nandini felt her heart flutter, a mix of surprise and delight. Good night, Nandini, Vikram said, his voice warm. Good night, Vikram, Nandini replied, her hand lingering on the door as he walked away. As Vikram drove home, he couldn't stop smiling. This was more than just a growing friendship, it was the beginning of something profound. And as for Nandini, she stood by the door for a long time after he left, her heart full of emotions she hadn't felt in years. The doubts were still there, but they were fading, replaced by a sense of hope she hadn't dared to believe in before. The weeks following Vikram and Nandini's intimate dinner were marked by a growing closeness between them. They spent more time together, sharing meals, conversations, and quiet moments that deepened their connection. Yet, as their bond strengthened, the outside world began to encroach on their private sanctuary. One weekend, Vikram invited Nandini to a small gathering at his friend's house. It was a casual get-together with a few of his closest colleagues from the hospital. Nandini was a bit apprehensive at first, knowing she would be meeting some of the people who were important to Vikram. But she was also excited, 
This was the first time they would be stepping out as a couple, even if unofficially. When they arrived, Vikram introduced Nandini to his friends. Most of them were warm and welcoming, treating her with the respect and kindness Vikram had hoped for. They mingled, enjoying the evening, and for a while, everything seemed perfect. But as the night wore on, Nandini couldn't help but notice the occasional glance or whispered comment from some of the other guests. She was no stranger to such reactions. She had faced them in the business world, where her age and success were often met with skepticism or envy. But this was different. It was personal. At one point, Vikram's colleague, Dr. Rohan, approached them. He was polite but clearly curious. So, Vikram, Rohan began, with a hint of teasing in his voice, I didn't know you had a thing for older women. The comment was meant to be a joke, but it landed heavily, especially for Nandini. She tried to laugh it off, but she felt a sting of insecurity. Vikram noticed the shift in her demeanor immediately. Age doesn't matter when you find someone you truly connect with. Rohan, Vikram responded calmly, but there was a firmness in his voice that left no room for further comments. Rohan seemed taken aback, realizing his joke had not been well received. He quickly changed the subject, but the damage was done. The rest of the evening felt tense for Nandini, who couldn't shake the feeling that she was being judged. Vikram did his best to keep the mood light, but he could tell something was bothering her. When they finally left the party and were alone in Vikram's car, Nandini's emotions spilled over. Vikram, I knew this would happen, she said, her voice filled with frustration. People are going to judge us judge me because of our age difference. And it's only going to get worse. Vikram reached for her hand, his touch gentle but firm. Nandini, I'm sorry about what Rohan said. He didn't mean any harm, but I understand why it upset you. But listen to me, what we have is real, and that's all that matters. People will always talk, but we can't let that dictate how we live our lives. Nandini sighed, looking out the window as the city lights blurred past. I wish it were that easy. I've spent my whole life dealing with people's expectations and judgments. I don't want our relationship to be another battleground. Vikram parked the car in front of Nandini's apartment, then turned to face her. Nandini, I care about you, more than I've cared about anyone in a long time. I'm not going to let what others think come between us. We can face this together. Nandini looked into his eyes, searching for the reassurance she so desperately needed. She saw it there, in the way he held her gaze in the way he never wavered despite the challenges they faced. She knew he meant every word, but the fear lingered in her heart. I care about you too, Vikram, she finally said, her voice soft. But I need to be honest with you, this isn't easy for me. I've worked so hard to build a life where I don't have to answer to anyone. And now, with us, I feel vulnerable again. I'm afraid of getting hurt. Vikram nodded understanding her fears. I get it, Nandini. And I won't pretend that this is going to be easy. But I promise you, I'm here for the long haul. We'll take it one step at a time, and we'll deal with whatever comes our way together. You don't have to face this alone. His words touched her deeply, and for a moment, the doubts that had plagued her seemed to fade. She leaned in and rested her head on his shoulder, finding comfort in his presence. Thank you, Vikram, she whispered. I don't know what the future holds, but I'm willing to try, because of you. Vikram wrapped his arm around her, holding her close. That's all I ask, Nandini. We'll figure this out, one day at a time. As they sat there in the quiet of the night, the world outside seemed distant, the challenges they faced no less real but somehow more manageable. For the first time in a long while, Nandini allowed herself to believe that maybe, just maybe, this love was worth the risk. And as they held on to each other, they both knew that whatever came next, they would face it together, hand in hand. The days following the party were a mix of highs and lows for Vikram and Nandini. Their relationship was growing stronger, 
yet the shadow of societal expectations loomed over them. They both tried to ignore it, focusing on the bond they shared, but the whispers and curious glances became harder to brush aside. One weekend, Vikram suggested they take a break from the city and spend some time at a quiet resort a few hours away. He hoped that the change of scenery would give them a chance to relax and reconnect without the pressures of the outside world. Nandini readily agreed, eager for an escape. The resort was nestled in the hills, surrounded by lush greenery and the tranquil sounds of nature. As they arrived, Nandini felt the tension in her shoulders begin to melt away. The air was fresh, the environment peaceful, and for the first time in weeks, she felt like she could breathe again. They spent the first day exploring the area, walking through the forests, and enjoying the simple pleasure of each other's company. Vikram loved seeing Nandini so relaxed, her usual guarded demeanor softened by the serenity of their surroundings. That evening, as they sat on the balcony of their cabin, watching the sun dip below the horizon, their conversation turned reflective. Nandini leaned back in her chair, her gaze distant. Vikram, have you thought about where we're going with this? She asked quietly, breaking the comfortable silence that had settled between them. Vikram turned to her, sensing the seriousness of her question. I have, Nandini. I think about it a lot. I know we haven't defined what this is, but I'm sure about how I feel. I want to be with you, and I'm ready to face whatever challenges come our way. Nandini sighed, a mixture of affection and frustration in her eyes. I feel the same way, Vikram. But it's not just about us, is it? It's about our families, our friends, and how they see us. I've spent so many years building a life that I'm proud of, but now, I wonder if I'm making the right choice by pursuing this. Vikram's heart sank a little at her words, but he understood her concerns. Nandini, I won't lie, this isn't going to be easy. But I believe in what we have. I'm not asking you to sacrifice anything, just to trust in us, in what we can build together. Nandini looked at him, her eyes searching for the reassurance she needed. What if it doesn't work out, Vikram? What if the pressure becomes too much? I'm older, and people will always question that. I don't want to hold you back from the life you deserve. Vikram reached out, taking her hand in his. You're not holding me back, Nandini. You're giving me something I didn't even know I needed. Yes, there's an age difference, but that doesn't define us. What we have goes beyond that. I'm not looking for the approval of others, I'm looking for happiness with you. Nandini's heart ached at his words. She had been so used to standing strong on her own that the idea of leaning on someone, of sharing her life so intimately, felt both comforting and terrifying. She wanted to believe in the future Vikram was painting, but the fears she harbored were hard to shake. Vikram, I care about you so much, but I need time. Time to sort out these feelings, to figure out if I can truly handle what's coming. I don't want to rush into something only to have it fall apart because of my insecurities, she admitted, her voice trembling slightly. Vikram nodded, his expression one of understanding and patience. I'll give you all the time you need, Nandini. I'm not going anywhere, I just want you to know that I'm here, ready to face whatever comes, with you. They sat there in silence for a while, the only sound being the gentle rustle of the leaves in the evening breeze. Nandini knew she had to confront her doubts, but she also knew that Vikram was worth the risk. The question was whether she could overcome the barriers she had built around herself. As night fell, they retired to their cabin, both lost in their thoughts. Vikram tried to stay optimistic, hoping that Nandini would find the courage to fully embrace their relationship. Nandini, on the other hand, was torn between the life she had meticulously crafted for herself and the love she had unexpectedly found. The next morning, as they prepared to leave the resort, Nandini seemed quieter than usual. Vikram noticed but didn't press her, giving her the space she needed. On the drive back to the city, they exchanged only a few words, the atmosphere between them heavy with unspoken emotions. 
When they arrived back in the city, Nandini turned to Vikram before getting out of the car. Vikram, I need some time alone to think things through. It's not about us. It's about me. I need to figure out where I stand before we take any more steps forward. Vikram's heart tightened, but he nodded, respecting her need for space. Take all the time you need, Nandini. I'm here when you're ready. She gave him a small, sad smile before stepping out of the car. Vikram watched her walk away, a sense of uncertainty settling in his chest. He knew this was a pivotal moment in their relationship, a crossroads where they would either move forward together or drift apart. As Nandini entered her apartment, she felt a mix of relief and sadness. She knew she needed to confront her fears, to decide if she could fully commit to a relationship that defied societal norms and expectations. And while she cared deeply for Vikram, the path ahead seemed daunting. Over the next few days, Nandini distanced herself, spending time alone to reflect on her feelings. She knew she was at a critical juncture, and whatever decision she made would shape the future of their relationship. Vikram, meanwhile, gave her the space she asked for, though the waiting weighed heavily on him. Both of them knew that the outcome of this period of reflection would either bring them closer together or push them apart. And as the days passed, the tension between hope and fear grew, leaving them both wondering what the future held for their love. The days stretched into a week, and the silence between Vikram and Nandini felt like an unspoken conversation neither was ready to have. During this time, Nandini immersed herself in her work, hoping it would provide clarity, but all it did was magnify the emptiness she felt without Vikram. Every quiet moment brought her back to the same question. Was she willing to risk everything for love? One evening, after another long day at the office, Nandini sat in her living room, staring at the city skyline through the window. The vibrant city lights seemed to blur together, a mirror of her tumultuous thoughts. She realized that despite her initial doubts, her feelings for Vikram had only grown stronger during their time apart. But with those feelings came a deeper fear, fear of the unknown, fear of judgment, and fear of getting hurt. Finally, unable to bear the weight of her indecision any longer, Nandini picked up her phone and sent Vikram a message, can we talk? Vikram's response was immediate, of course. I'll come over. Within an hour, Vikram was at her door. The moment she opened it, Nandini could see the concern in his eyes. He stepped inside, and they both stood there for a moment unsure of where to begin. The air between them was thick with anticipation, the conversation they were about to have long overdue. Nandini, Vikram began softly, I've missed you. But I've respected your need for space. I just hope, I hope you've found some clarity. Nandini nodded, gesturing for him to sit down. She took a deep breath, trying to steady her racing heart. Vikram, I've done a lot of thinking over these past few days. I've thought about us, about the future, and about what I'm willing to sacrifice and what I'm not. Vikram listened intently, his heart pounding in his chest. He knew this moment was crucial. I won't lie, Nandini continued, I'm scared. I've spent so many years building my life, my career, and my independence. I've faced challenges, made tough decisions, and learn to protect myself. Letting someone in, especially someone younger, with their whole life ahead of them, feels like I'm walking into the unknown. Vikram reached out and took her hand, his touch warm and reassuring. Nandini, I understand your fears. And I won't pretend that I can take them all away. But I want you to know that I'm here, fully committed to this, to us. I don't care about the age difference or what people might say. All I care about is being with you. Nandini looked into his eyes, searching for any sign of doubt, but all she saw was sincerity and love. Vikram, I feel the same way. But there are things we need to be honest about. I'm not going to change who I am or how I live my life. I'm set in my ways, and I won't apologize for that. If we're going to do this, we have to accept each other fully, flaws and all. Vikram smiled, 
his grip on her hand tightening slightly. I wouldn't want it any other way, Nandini. I love you for who you are, strong, independent, and yes, even a little stubborn. I'm not looking to change you, I just want to be with you. Nandini's heart swelled at his words, the fears that had gripped her loosening their hold. She realized that what she had with Vikram was rare, a love that was worth fighting for, even if it meant stepping out of her comfort zone. Vikram, she said, her voice filled with emotion, I'm ready. I'm ready to face whatever comes our way, as long as we're in this together. I don't want to let fear dictate my life anymore. I want to be with you, truly and completely. Vikram's eyes lit up with joy, and before Nandini could say another word, he pulled her into his arms, holding her close. You have no idea how much this means to me, Nandini. I promise you, I'll do everything I can to make this work. We'll face the challenges together, one step at a time. They stayed like that for a while, wrapped in each other's embrace, the world outside their door forgotten. In that moment, they both knew that they had crossed a significant threshold in their relationship. They had chosen each other, despite the obstacles, despite the doubts, and that choice made their bond stronger than ever. As the evening wore on, they talked about the future, about how they would navigate their relationship in a world that might not always understand them. They discussed their fears, their hopes, and the compromises they would need to make. It wasn't going to be easy, but they both knew that the love they shared was worth the effort. Later that night, as Vikram prepared to leave, Nandini walked him to the door. There was a newfound lightness in her step, a sense of peace that she hadn't felt in a long time. Vikram noticed it too, and it filled him with hope. Nandini, he said, turning to her before stepping outside, I love you. And I can't wait to see where this journey takes us. Nandini smiled, her eyes sparkling with the same hope. I love you too, Vikram. And whatever happens, I know we'll face it together. As Vikram walked away, Nandini felt a deep sense of contentment settle over her. She knew there would still be challenges ahead, but for the first time, she wasn't afraid of them. She had found someone who loved her for who she was, who was willing to stand by her no matter what. And that, she realized, was worth more than anything else. The crossroads they had faced had led them to each other, and as they moved forward, they did so with the knowledge that love, true love, was stronger than any obstacle that might come their way. With the decision to move forward together firmly in place, Vikram and Nandini found themselves navigating the early stages of their relationship with a renewed sense of commitment and purpose. The doubts that had previously weighed on them had lessened, replaced by the resolve to build something meaningful together. But as they began to settle into their relationship, a new challenge loomed on the horizon, meeting each other's families. One evening, as they were having dinner at Nandini's apartment, Vikram broached the subject. Nandini, there's something I've been meaning to talk to you about, he said, setting down his fork. Nandini looked up, sensing the seriousness in his tone. What is it? Vikram hesitated for a moment before continuing. My parents have been asking about you. They've noticed how happy I've been lately, and they want to meet you. I think it's time we introduce each other to our families. Nandini felt a flutter of anxiety in her chest. Meeting Vikram's parents was a significant step, one that brought all her insecurities rushing back. Vikram, are you sure they're ready for that? I mean, we both know our relationship isn't exactly conventional. Vikram reached across the table and took her hand. I know it's a big step, and I'm not saying it won't be challenging. But I'm confident in us, and I want my family to see the woman who's made me so happy. And I'd like to meet your family too, when you're ready. Nandini took a deep breath, trying to quell the nerves that had started to build. Okay, let's do it. But just so you know, my family might have some concerns too. They've always been protective of me, especially since, well, you know. Vikram nodded understanding what she meant. Nandini had shared with him the story of her past, 
a long-term relationship that had ended in heartbreak, leaving her wary of love for many years. It was one of the reasons she had built such strong walls around herself, walls that Vikram had slowly begun to break down. We'll take it one step at a time, Vikram assured her. I'll talk to my parents first, let them know a bit about us. And we'll set up a time for everyone to meet when you're comfortable. A few days later, Vikram visited his parents' home. They lived in a cozy suburban house, where he had spent much of his childhood. As he walked through the front door, he was greeted by the familiar smell of his mother's cooking and the sound of his father's voice from the living room. Vikram, it's good to see you. His mother exclaimed, embracing him warmly. You've been so busy lately, I was beginning to think you'd forgotten about us. Vikram laughed, returning her hug. I could never forget about you, mom. I've just had a lot going on. His father looked up from the newspaper, giving Vikram a nod. So, what's this we hear about you seeing someone? Vikram smiled, taking a seat next to his father. Actually, that's what I wanted to talk to you both about. Her name is Nandini, and she's someone very special to me. His mother's eyes lit up with curiosity. Tell us more about her. How did you two meet? Vikram spent the next few minutes describing how he and Nandini had met, their shared interests, and the connection they had developed. But as he spoke, he could see the questions forming in his parents' minds. Finally, he decided to address the most obvious concern head-on. There's something you should know, Vikram said, his tone serious. Nandini is a few years older than me. Six, to be exact. I know that might seem unusual, but it doesn't change how I feel about her. She's an incredible woman, and I'm really happy with her. His mother exchanged a glance with his father, who set down his newspaper, giving his son his full attention. Age isn't everything, Vikram, his father began, but it can bring different challenges. Are you sure you're ready for that? Vikram nodded confidently. I am. We've talked about it, and we're both committed to making this work. I know it won't be easy, but I believe in what we have. His mother sighed, a mixture of concern and acceptance in her expression. As long as you're happy, Vikram, that's what matters to us. But we'd like to meet her, to get to know her ourselves. Vikram smiled, relieved that the conversation had gone as well as it had. You will, soon. We're planning something, and I'll let you know the details. Meanwhile, Nandini faced her own set of challenges. She had always been close with her younger sister, Priya, who had been her rock through many tough times. But telling Priya about Vikram wasn't easy. Nandini knew her sister would have questions, and possibly concerns, about the age difference and the seriousness of the relationship. One evening, Nandini invited Priya over for dinner. As they sat on the balcony, sipping wine, Nandini decided it was time to open up. Priya, there's something I need to tell you. Nandini began, her voice steady but nervous. Priya looked at her sister with a hint of surprise. You're being serious, Nandini. What's going on? Nandini took a deep breath and dove in. I've been seeing someone. His name is Vikram, and he's a doctor. We've been getting closer over the past few months, and, well, I think it's serious. Priya's eyes widened with excitement. Nandini, that's wonderful. I was beginning to think you'd given up on love entirely. Nandini smiled, appreciating her sister's enthusiasm, but knew she had to address the elephant in the room. There's one more thing you should know. Vikram is younger than me. He's 34. Priya's excitement dimmed slightly, and she leaned back in her chair, processing the information. Nandini, I'm happy for you, really. But are you sure about this? I mean, a younger guy, that can come with its own set of issues. Nandini nodded, expecting her sister's concern. I know, Priya, but this feels different. Vikram is mature, and we've talked about the challenges we might face. I've never felt this way about anyone, and I don't want to let fear stop me from being happy. Priya reached out and took Nandini's hand, 
squeezing it gently. I trust you, Nandini. And if he makes you happy, that's all I care about. I'd like to meet him. Though, make sure he's as amazing as you say he is. Nandini laughed, relieved that her sister was supportive. You will, soon. We're planning to introduce each other to our families. I'm just hoping it all goes smoothly. As the evening wore on, Nandini and Priya continued to talk, their bond as strong as ever. Nandini knew that having her sister's support meant the world to her, and it gave her the strength to face whatever came next. The following weekend, Vikram and Nandini arranged a small dinner at a quiet restaurant where their families could meet. As they arrived, Vikram could sense Nandini's nervousness and gave her hand a reassuring squeeze. It'll be fine, he whispered as they walked inside. The evening began with polite conversation, both families trying to get to know each other while carefully avoiding the topic of age. Vikram's parents were warm and welcoming, and Priya, true to her word, was charming and supportive. But despite the positive atmosphere, there was an underlying tension that everyone felt but didn't speak of. Finally, during dessert, Vikram's mother broke the silence. Nandini, I can see that Vikram cares about you very much. And after tonight, I can understand why. You're a remarkable woman. I just want to make sure you both understand the challenges that might come with a relationship like yours. Nandini appreciated her honesty and took a moment to gather her thoughts before responding. I understand your concerns, and believe me, Vikram and I have talked about them. We know it won't be easy, but we're committed to each other. What we have is built on trust and respect, and I believe that's what will carry us through. Vikram's father nodded, his expression thoughtful. Relationships are about more than just love. They're about partnership about facing the world together. If you both understand that, then you have our blessing. Vikram and Nandini exchanged a relieved glance. The evening continued, the initial tension easing as both families began to see the genuine connection between the couple. By the time the night ended, there was a sense of cautious optimism in the air, a feeling that, despite the challenges, this relationship had the potential to endure. As Vikram and Nandini walked back to the car, hand in hand, they both felt a sense of accomplishment. They had crossed another hurdle together, and their relationship was stronger for it. Thank you for tonight, Nandini said softly, leaning her head on Vikram's shoulder as they walked. I know it wasn't easy, but I'm glad we did it. Vikram smiled, kissing the top of her head, we'll face whatever comes next, Nandini together. And as they drove off into the night, they both knew that while their journey was far from over, they were on the right path, ready to take on whatever the future held.